Hey guys. Welcome uh, back, everybody. Yeah, we, we are back. We we wouldn't be long. Short break for us. Quick uh, run around the block. Yeah. Cigarette for those of us who smoke. Not me. Not me. Toilet break. <laughs> yes. So, we are back for a great, great game here in Bristol-Man, close to Paris. Semi-final between the Tornado, Tony Drago from Malta and... The Maharaja, Imran Majid from London, England. These two guys know each other very well. Both have played a lot of snooker in their day and uh, practiced together in the same club in South London. They know each other's games inside out, so there's no element of surprise here. It's going to be a shootout. Contrasting styles with uh, Tony Drago's very quick style of shooting and Imran's more methodical, considered approach. Both can be equally as effective. Yeah. Tony opened up with an illegal break in the first rack, just to remind you. We're playing nine ball, race to nine. Nine on the spot. Three balls must pass the head string for it to be a legal break, like on the Euro Tour. Oh. Tony was quite fortunate to leave Imran hooked on the two ball. Yeah. Imran kicked to Rails and, well, uh, in the roll. Tony's uh, oh God. throwing his cue at the balls at the moment. Yeah. He's, uh, he had a pretty close match in the last round of the quarterfinal. He beat Alec Montpellier 9-6, Frenchman. Pretty impressive showing from Alex in this tournament. He's done the, uh, the French pool community proud with that turnout. Yeah, sure. Just uh, one step too far in the end. He paid for a couple of, uh, a couple of scratches on the break, which Tony was able to clear up. And wow, it's uh, impressive. It's, I mean, it's just getting down, firing straight at these, not, not queuing taking any warm-up strokes. I mean, he, he made some pretty impressive pots there, but the seven ball that he just missed, he missed by quite some distance. I, it's hard to predict how this match is going to go, but you'd probably make Imran the, the favorite just about. What do you say, Christoph? Wow. What a question you have. First question of the of the game is Best what is your prediction? Getting straight down to it. Oh, <laughs> uh, um, you know, I think that for him one is gonna to be a question of management of the speed of Tony. I mean, the, their their rhythm are very very different. And uh, so you see Tony take on a pretty improbable kick under eight. Yeah. I mean, and I uh, wonder if these guys are these guys are so familiar with each other. Does that maybe make you too relaxed when you're playing against one of your old buddies? Are you sure you're in semi-final? Well, I've just seen Tony Drago kicking a, a, an eight ball that was a, was by no means the yeah. percentage call. I, I have to be. Square when my with my uh, way of thinking about the question. Look the prize money. Look, look the the amount for the winner. Two thousand and twenty twenty one hundred euros for the for the winner, and you have uh, one uh, eleven hundred euros for a uh, for the runner up, and only six hundred for the semi finalist. Right. Yeah, considerable difference in the prize money checks. Not peanuts. They came well, from there. I'd like to see they Tony yeah. maybe take a half a second longer on uh, some <laughs> of his decisions. I'm not asking for much, you know. Another guy's style of play. So uh, guys, I have to tell you. To change. I have to tell you, I'm not gonna to comment the choices from Tony. It's too fast, too quick, <laughs> and if I'm trying to explain something. 
I think he, he will have already played two more balls, so uh, <laughs> we just see him playing with his very special, uh, very special style. And Imran's played an illegal break in rack two. Tony came back with a safety. Yeah, it's a, a privilege, really, for the French pool fans to get to see players like these yeah. live in the in their local pool hall. Very few attendants, anyway. Yeah, we've got a we've got a small crowd of people watching the action. Maybe 20, 20, 20 25 person max. So few Netherlands is uh, not huge. Uh, I hope that you will be behind your screen following us during the, those uh, two last matches of uh, the tournament, I mean semi-final and final. At the same time, in the just uh, on the left of uh, the TV table, you have the, the other semi-final between Mark Beast and Bosch from Netherlands and uh, UGC. UGC, who made an absolutely Unbelievable comeback oh win yeah. over Noel Bruinjoga in the quarterfinal. Seven racks to nil down. Came back to win 9-7. 9-8. 9-8. 9, seven. nine, eight. nine, eight. nine eight. Thanks for the correction. That's right. He came back to 7-7. Seven, seven. Noel got on the hill first at 8-7. Mm -hmm. Then Huiji managed to win 9-8. It was really an improbable match. And uh, at the end of that game, Huiju played out of his skin. He didn't miss a ball for the second half of the match. So he's certainly capable of reaching that level. Mm -hmm. Mark came through a tough challenge against uh, Joao Cardozo from Portugal as well. Yeah. So. Um, Joao just beat uh, Nick Vandenberg. That's right. In the last 16. And. Uh, Maybe, maybe put too much energy during this game against Nick, and Mark was uh, efficient as he can be. Yeah, Nick would have been one of the favourites for this tournament. Bit of a surprise yeah, to lose to Joao Cardoso, yeah. but it was worth worth his win. Yeah, but it was a little bit special for for Nick. He, he went there with all the family. Uh, he planned to visit Disneyland with the family, and uh, maybe that was not uh, his first his first objective, his first target this tournament this weekend. But anyway, he was he played pretty good also, but not at the top level as he can as he can do when uh, when he is on. The yeah, he's on a fierce competitor, Nick, and he'll, he'll definitely be disappointed with the weekend's events. He Started off on Friday night in yeah. Kamui Battle. Sure. Lost to uh, Hill Hill deciding rack against Stefan Cohen, 15 14. Then went out at the last 16 stage here. Under par for his own very high standards, you'd have to say. I'm sure we'll see Nick bounce back. He's flying off to the US Open next week. As is Imran. Last uh, points event for the uh, Moscone Cup team selection yeah. for Team Europe. So Nick's still very much in with a shout of qualifying. Mm -hmm. Going to have to go deep in the US Open though, which it's uh, going to have a monster field as ever. Tony's Whoa. missing a few balls in the early stages. Imran missed a couple or two from maybe more tricky positions. Just think that probably his higher accuracy compared with Tony is maybe going to give him the edge in this matchup.
score on the other table is two rags to nil to Mark Bush. As we saw in the uh, in the last match, would you see uh, two rags is nothing for him. Yeah. <laughs> He lets the other guy get seven racks in front sure. before he starts playing. <laughs> and, and you know what? The Dons will have someone in final. That's right. So, guys from Netherlands are still there. And I know that there yeah, are many, many, many f players or guys who are patient in pool, in US pool, who are following us on the live stream. So, hello, guys. Yeah, thanks for watching and we're at the semi-final stage now. This is a race to nine. The final is going to be a race to 11 between the winner here and either Mark Bustabosch or Hui GC. Make sure to share the news with your pool following friends online. Let them know it's a Sunday night. Maybe you're going to work or going to study tomorrow in school. Relax in front of your laptop or your computer or your TV or whatever screen you're watching on. Enjoy this top quality nine ball action. So we see Tony Drago make the long pot on the eight, slam that nine ball in yeah. as if he was angry with it. Uh, Imran has to, has to play better on the, on the defense event because uh, yeah, it was not a, the it was a poor didn't pool safety. Yeah, it was a pool safety, and uh, in front of Tony, who is able to to shoot whatever the position on the balls, <laughs> you have to play, you have to to hide the balls clearly and fully. So, little mistake from him run on the eight. one but a long way to go race to nine momentum will uh, arrive for sure okay Imran has been breaking pretty good on this table yeah, as we've been saying that's a little good lost one. his cue ball there and that's the third consecutive illegal break at the start of this rack, start of this match. Both players have had a long path to the semi-final. Imran had to do it the hard way by the loser's side yesterday. Okay. Tony has a choice to take it, so to give it back. He give it back, give it back, okay. So push out from Imran and long path proposed to Tony. <laughs> Straight down on it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Wow. I mean, Come on. some of those shots he's missing, he's missing by a good a a half a diamond. And a new table is coming. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. But that's a good opportunity for Imran there, I think. Yeah, you mentioned that we're definitely going to have a Dutch finalist in this year's event. We've had a strong Dutch contingent traveling over for the weekend. Must be about 10 players, I think, who've come from the Netherlands, more from Belgium too. Mm. UK. Uh, yeah, UK Maybe. was well represented. Imran, mm. the miscalculation there. Yeah. I rattled the five in the corner to allow Drago back in. Now, now, uh, I don't believe it. <laughs> wow, shot. I saw him line that up. <laughs> I didn't believe he was really going to shoot that. <laughs> Whoa. Now, uh, Follows up four rail <laughs> pot on the uh, on the five ball with a 
A wild shot at the six. And a scratch. Slightly perplexing, these opening racks. Imran seems to be a player who's more concentrated, more yeah. applied in the game, but yeah. it's stay. only level he, he was, he was behind. He needs to stay into the game, yeah. mentally speaking, to be focused on what he is going to do. That, that shot through us on commentary, I think, as an, uh, as an opponent, when you see the other guy doing something crazy like that, you wonder what's going on, you maybe throws you a little bit, you've got to yeah. just focus on your own game, not yeah. think about anything else. Yeah, we, we know Tony, there's a very, very instinctive player, you know, so he's playing what he wants to play, what he likes, what he That's saw, sure. and uh, he's quick, so the other guy has to to endure his rhythm, to keep his rhythm, to stay on line with his techniques, his routine, and uh, okay, that's the main point, I think. But Imran has the experience to do that. Anyway, Tony is very good, so. Just missed the long bank on the two. He's not getting bogged down in any safety exchanges, is he, Tony? His attitude seems to be shoot on sight. Okay. And he's left Imran with a wide open table. Three's going to have to be played onto the five. This should be a clearance from Imran Majid. Seven is not fully in inside the pocket, I think. So, okay. He has chosen the other, the other top corner pocket to play the six. Good shot. Routine now. Tony Drago concedes the rack, mm -hmm. and Imran takes the lead at 3-2. Yeah. We just saw a match between Imran Majid and Vincent Faquet, which saw two players with maybe quite similar methodical styles. And now we have a real contrast of styles. match between Fake and Majid lasted probably a lot longer than this match is going to last. One way sure. or the other, sure. Tony is going to be running through his shots pretty quickly and if Imran gets open opportunities, he can empty the table, clear up pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. In the other semi-final, the score is 3-1 for Mark. And Yuji is on, on the table. We don't have a clear view on this table, so can comment the action. Just talk about the score. Yeah, you can keep up with the score on ebilliard.billiardport.com. We're running this tournament Great with the shot. help of the Billiard Port tournament portal, really great creation by Ferdi Özdemir from Turkey. Mm -hmm. Happy to, you know, I believe we're certainly happy to partner with Ferdi for his uh, system, really provides convenient management of a tournament for tournament directors and for players following the, their own fixtures and results and fans. It's uh, really intuitive interface, simple to use and updates automatically using tablets placed next to the uh, next to the match tables. So we see Imran 
pulling off an impressive break and run. Yeah, and a nice long shot on the two. Yes. Big First positional shot, shot on the, on the three as well. It was great. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It was the key of the table. He's in his gear, we said. He's been getting stronger as the weekend goes along. Yeah. Might have missed a couple of balls early on here, yeah. but he's I in focus. I had, a, I had a quick talk with him just before the semi final, and I told him, So you told us that you were not in a good, in a great shape, and your, your feeling is not good. He, he, must, he told me, It's still the same. I'm not good. I'm not, I'm not fine. Okay. <laughs> wow. A lot of pool players are perfectionists, you'd have to say. The top players often get upset if they don't get the cue ball exactly on the spot where they want it. Mm -hmm. Nice break from Tony. Cue ball barely stunned back off of the pack and he made yeah, one nice in break. the side. Very I think nice it was break. the five ball in the corner pocket. Could Look be at how the balls are laying too. I'll tell you what, let's get the timer out for this one because it could be over in about 30 seconds. Okay. We made a silence during one minute. Top chrono. No, he's let, well, he's let Mark have a shot on the next table, so that's going to slow him down a little bit. Once it gets into the, uh, into the balls, it's not going to last long. Got to stay on line, though. Yeah, four to six is now complicated slightly. Kubo's going to have to travel. One rail over to the left hand side and back. Didn't even bother getting into position, just <laughs> rifled through the yeah, queue. Put Tony Drago screen. says, anything you yeah. can do in Ren Majid, I can do it quicker. Yeah. Put the live stream in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Tony. We've got people at home trying to watch this. So okay. They don't get a chance. Two consecutives run outs. Yeah. Yeah. So 4 3 in run. On the other side, 4-1 for Mark. Fast warm-up strokes on the break from Imran. Getting mm -hmm. a bit of energy in the queuing arm. Legal break. Made a couple of balls. Yeah. Two and the six have disappeared off of the table yeah. surface. But not a nice position on the one. Yeah. Can he get the cue ball over to the five? Oh, wow. In the bank. I thought he was bank. playing safe there, but wow. took the aggressive option and yeah. sunk it in the heart of the pocket. Very first on this one. I think so. Yes. Draw first. <laughs> <laughs> what a shot. Yeah. Imran's certainly capable of, capable of playing his own brand of spectacular pull. Doesn't want to be outdone by the tornado. Wants the cue ball to slow down here. He doesn't mm. want to be right up against the rail, which is Whoa. well, there's about maybe a couple of inches between the cue ball and the rail. He's going to be aiming down into the cue ball for this. Watch out. Wow. Wow. What a shot, just perfect. Watch it disappear. Yeah. Tony concedes again and Imran re-establishes the two-right lead. 
That's three consecutive break and runs. These two heavyweights going toe to toe. Yunji just took a frame and is back to down. 4 2 for Mark on the other semi final. Now you see six frames on one side, eight frames on the other side. Yeah, that's an indication of the speed at which the racks are going. Tony's going to have an open shot on the one again. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good break from Tony. Seems to have managed to settle down and stop missing those careless balls that he was at the start of this match. Mm. Well, commentator's guess. Yeah, but I think he saw that starting and just after the, the shot, he just uh, go up, just go up and, uh, oh, he's yeah. not going to, he's gonna to, to, be, to go in and uh, it, it was the case, so. Was it one of them, a little bit funny, the sl it's pretty straight but slightly off angle, shooting a three into the side pocket. That's proved to be his undoing in rack nine. Nimran's really grinding into gear now. Five, seven, eight and nine left on the table. Just working out how he's gonna play the seven. It's going into yeah, the side as he was on the other side of the five. Very nice read. Using uh, the uh, natural yeah, angle to, uh, to go to the... He's two-stroking most of these balls now. He's, you can see his confidence. Max opposite spin on this one, on this follow. And 6-3, guy. 6-3 for your favorite, for your coach. I'm a neutral as a commentator, but... Sure, sure, sure. Sorry. Can't say. Sorry. I wouldn't you, be you, happy you, if... Uh, your heart is not beating tournament. for UK players. I know, I know that. <laughs> Listen, Tony's an adopted UK player too. <laughs> for the amount of time he spends there. Okay, 6-3, but nothing is done. Tony can... Uh, the tornado can yeah, whirl yeah. into life yeah. at any moment. Yeah. Don't In go to make a coffee because if you are coming back after five minutes, the score could be 7-6, you know? <laughs> it's not impossible. And it looks like Imran's sequence of break and runs is going to come to an end. Yeah. Oh. Except if he is taking an aggressive choice on that, on that one, on the tier one, no, no, I think that's uh, gonna to be a safety shot. Yeah, maybe a little bit short. No, no he's okay. Yeah, he might have, maybe a little might bit have short. Left that onto the bottom right corner. Yeah, he's short. Yeah, he's short. Watch out, the cue ball behind the eight. Yeah, he's long. Wow. No, nope. he's okay. Just held up. Oh wow. <laughs> Okay. A little bit short, this one. Tell you what, the speed that he plays the game, he should be wearing shorts and a t shirt and trainers. Watch out the contact on the, on the seven. Wow. Wow. Second consecutive rack. Yeah. Tony gives up. Ball in hand. Gives up mm. an easy run out for the second rack in a row. It's not a run out this time. You get a safety shot on the one. He ran out the balls that were left on the table. Okay. 
after the scratch from Drago. 7-3 now the score. Could we have uh. a UK finalist for the second consecutive year in the Predator French Open? Last year, Cowboys won the final against Vincent Fake, 9-6. This year, Imran Majid looks on his way to the final. Still not sure. But he's looked the more composed of the players in this semi-final match. The semi final, four three for Mark, but um, UG made a, a big mistake on the yellow one on the half uh, rack. And yes, and uh, Mark is on its way to clear the table, so probably five three for Mark in a few in a few time. Yeah, that's the case, five three. Clearance on the cards here for Tony Drago. This is going to be 7 4. Yes, 7 4. Tell you what, we've been commentating all weekend long, Christoph. Certainly giving me the urge to go and grab my cue tomorrow. You know what? We it's have frustrating a sometimes having, yes. to, having to watch other players play and you don't Th get a chance to play yourself. There is a case, there is a case. And we have a, we have a, a qualification round next week. That's PLA. right, French regional tournaments getting underway. Yeah. See you there. Sure, I'm on. I'm on the list, but I'm playing snooker the, the Saturday, <laughs> so I have a big, uh, busy weekend. Snooker Saturday and US pool Sunday. So Just make sure you take the right cue with you to each event. <laughs> it's the same cue. <laughs> You use a uh, American pool cue at snooker then? Yeah, for the for the moment. So far, because just a question of availability of the material of the of the new cue of the new secure cue. And I have a, I have a new uh, U.S. pool cue also since ten days. So that's okay. I think that's Mark okay. Gray plays using plays American pool using the snooker cue. My uncle used to play with a snooker cue when we would practice mm -mm. playing nine ball. Anyway, we have to practice. And uh, tomorrow evening, uh, as you said, it's, a, it's, a, it's an opportunity to play. And we saw a lot of games during the weekend. So That's right. Food that for thought. Great to learn from the likes of Majid, Drago, Bistabosh and C. Uh -huh. Watching the best is certainly a way to learn your about game strategy and technique. Mm -hmm. After the initial safety exchanges in this wreck, Tony was snookered on the one and, and made a foul. Couldn't contact the uh, the one ball when kicking off of uh, the left hand side rail. Mm -hmm. Imran tried to split up the four and the five there. Off of the one Stop shot on this one. one. Stop shot on this now one. He's gonna. Oh no, he's the that. He's go for it. He's going for everything. The table. He's going for and everything. Maybe now play safe. Yeah. Mm. 
maybe a bank. Oh, it was a two-way shot, so very nicely done. Does Tony have a jump cue? I don't think I've ever seen him oh, yeah. shoot a jump shot. Uh -huh. Not jumping a lot. Maybe he's not jumping at all. I'm not sure. Kick two rails at the four rather than any kind of jump shot. Yeah. And he it worked out pretty well for him. A good touch on the it's gonna be cutting right side of the pink four. It was a nice touch. Oh, that's missing. So that's a miss. That's a big miss from Tony. Too thick on this pink four. And I think, uh, I don't know if uh, the pink four is going through the... His pass? Yeah, his pass on the... I think he, yeah, he got some, some space for this pink four on the... Yeah, well, he overcut the top. four and then... Apologize to Tony because he left him yeah, snooping. On the top left corner, it was pretty obvious, but okay. okay. Big opportunity for him run to go on the hill on the semi-final. That's right, but he's got awkward queuing over the nine here. Sure, but um, don't have shooting the cue ball over the magic rack. Come on. Come on, Imran, two big uh, mistakes. <laughs> wow. Two big mistakes. Uh, and Tony is back on the table. Not for long, though. Six balls just hit with too much power. And it's, uh, I mean, it's strange to see Tony playing like this because we saw him in his quarter final match against Alex Montpellier. He didn't miss a thing. He played out of his skin and he was uh, playing with the same okay. fast rhythm as okay. usual. But now maybe he knows that playing Imran is a different proposition. Do you know that uh, the, the pockets are different between uh, the TV table and uh, the other, other tables? There's, uh, on, the, on the TV table, the pockets are maybe a little bit tight, tighter wow. than the, uh, on the other tables. And... Uh, Maybe he's a, little, he's, a, he's, a little, he's a little bit surprised about yeah, that. I don't know. He's, he's played on the TV table earlier in well the sure. tournament. And you're, you're right. He's missed a few balls by quite a big margin in this match. Is it? Is it tired? Hard to tell. Yeah. We'll have to ask him in a minute. He's now four X down. Imran Majid is on the hill. Just breaks, and what do you know? He made three balls on the break. Yes, he, 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 he has a good break, a very good break since the start of this semi. But he didn't capitalize on this break. I mean, uh, open tables, but some mistakes. Play over, over the six. Over the six. Okay. Just stops the cue ball dead. Yeah. Six and nine remain. And that was a quick one. Three balls on the break. You can't Tony do. Drago. You can't do faster than that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make it. God. Eight five. On the other side, 6-4 for Mark. UGC is still on the game, in two the game, but Mark is still up. Free to go for him for the final. Coming up to 11 p.m. here, local time in France. Maybe afternoon for any viewers across the other side of the Atlantic in the United States. Hi guys, if you are watching, hope you're enjoying this live stream. This is 
the semi-final of the French Open by Predator 2015 edition. Okay, foul after the break from Imran. Pretty open table for Tony. Mm, could be it. Where is the score? It's He's on five, right? It's eight yeah. five the score. Not eight four, at five. Could be at six very quickly. We'll see. Watch all the contact. Watch the eight. Wow. Oh dear. Wow. Could be the end. Could be the end of the final or One, the final two, semi final. Three yeah. Scratch and could be the end. If he doesn't concede right away. I think the end is nigh. Mm. Tony. I think Iman. He's been in a hurry. Iman would match. like a better angle on this round seven, I think. I can cut okay. it. I can cut it with. Uh, was it English? That's the case. Okay, it's very nice. Looks like shot. it's going to be a 9-4 victory for the Maharaja. 9-4 or 9-5? 9-5. Okay. For the Maharaja Imran Majid. Let's do it. Deposits it is a the case. winning nine ball and goes through to the final. Tony Drago is going to have to settle for third place here in the French Open. Imran Majid, meanwhile, is going to await the Victor of the other semi final between Mark Bistabosch and Rigi C, both of the Netherlands. Score in that match is currently 6 4 for yeah. Mark Bistabosch, who's shooting at the 6 ball in rack 11. We're going to be back with the final. Stay tuned right after the end of the other semi final. Yeah. We're going to have a short break now and we'll be back on ebilliard.tv for the final. Hope you've enjoyed that match. I'm Joe Chance and with Christophe Monzin, my partner here. We hope you enjoyed the commentary and, of course, more importantly, the, the live pool action. Thank you Thanks for, for watching. for following us. And uh, please be back for the final in about 15 minutes. See you there. Bye-bye.